This is not a product for beginners. It's after drop time. I've been asked to review Pharmanac. This is N-acetylcysteine. It's commonly used for detoxification. Does your child have a yeast problem? Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Lyons. I'm a Yale University trained scientist and autism parent, and I teach parents like you the cutting edge of science so you can make the best decisions for your child based on quality information. If your child has a yeast problem, then this is not the product to be used until that infection is under control. Why, you might be asking? In the lab, when scientists want to grow yeast, they give it NAC as a food source. So NAC can be great for someone who doesn't have a yeast issue. However, if there's a yeast issue, then focus on the yeast and circle back to NAC to see if it's appropriate. Many times parents who use NAC, when there's a yeast issue, see headaches, stimming increase, see lots of bad behaviors, dysregulation, things along those lines. So you want to make sure if you're going to use something, it's the right thing to use. So please, if you have yeast as an issue, do not consider this product or any NAC product. Okay, now this product is a bit controversial. And why is that? It's because of the packaging. Here, let me open it up. Brand new. This is how the product comes. These tablets, you drop them in a drink. These tablets, you can see on the inside, the packaging. That's what's actually controversial with different doctors. Now, it depends on what doctor you talk to. I've talked to some of the best doctors in autism in the world. And some of those great doctors, they actually love this product and think it's the absolute best NAC supplement on the market. And then I've talked to other great doctors who don't use it at all because of the packaging. So the packaging has the aluminum and some doctors want different packaging, and unless that happens, they won't use this. Okay, so that's controversial. Let's keep moving because I don't want that opinion to stop you from knowing about these options. Okay, like I said, it's a tablet. Comes in those little packs. You rip it open, big tablet. I have about eight ounces of water. Plop it in, bubble, bubble. So as you can see, it makes an effervescent drink and you can hear the bubbles. <laughs> so not all children like bubbly drinks. You can let it sit for a little bit, swirl those bubbles out. That's totally fine to do. Let's taste it. Pleasant. It, it, it definitely is pleasant. And in this dilution, it's strong enough that there's a taste. I'm getting some aftertaste now. Oh, okay. The initial taste was great. Now it's starting to taste, you know, when you have those, those chewable multivitamins, I don't know if you had them when you were a kid, you would chew them and then they'd give you this like whiff of something after, unfortunately tastes great, but there definitely is some kind of aftertaste. Yeah. It goes down nice. A few seconds later, that's when it hits. Okay. So initially it tastes great. Changes the color, makes it kind of like pinkish or so. This supplement provides 900 milligrams of NAC, which is, that's a powerful dose. So if your child drinks all of that, they're getting 900 milligrams of NAC. So with dosing, prescription NAC is the gold standard treatment for acetaminophen toxicity. NAC has FDA approval for treating potentially liver damaging doses of acetaminophen. So this, I, I explain all this just so that you know that NAC, it's real. It's a real supplement. It can be prescription strength. This is something that does something it is real, it can come prescription strength. NAC is effective and it's used in mainstream medicine. Confused by all the information about autism? I've got you. Click the link below to see how we can work together. Let me break down the science and provide you with clear, actionable steps to make your path forward easier. This dose is 900 milligrams, so please make sure you know what you're doing. Like I said, this is not for beginners. NAC is not the absolute first thing that you do. I've heard many parents talk about how NAC wasn't good for their child. So again, just remember there's yeast issues. You really don't want to use NAC. And if you have any experiences with NAC, positive or negative, please put it in the comment section so we can all learn. Okay. Is it an opt or drop? That's a very good question. You know what? This is a maybe. It really depends on your child. Okay. So it is a drop if you are a beginner. Very clear. It is a drop if your child still has problems with yeast. Total drop. If you have a concern about aluminum, I wouldn't use it. What happens is Sometimes as a parent, like you want to do everything possible. So you do things that go against your intuition. So if your intuition is telling you, ah, I don't like that aluminum packaging, don't use it. 
you can use other formulations of NAC. Like I said, some really great doctors swear by it. It's their favorite. And others, really great doctors, will not touch it. And both doctors can get really good outcomes for your child. So I don't want you to think that this is a, like an all or nothing. I don't think there's anything in autism that's an all or nothing. I'll have to think about that. But there's so many ways to get healthy. So this would be an opt if you were comfortable with the packaging. And if your child likes the taste, there is that little aftertaste. If they're swallowing pills and stuff, maybe that's the route you want to go. But if you kind of need some kind of healthy liquid for them, you could consider this. So it's definitely an opt if you're comfortable with the packaging. If you're not comfortable with the packaging, there are other knack options out there for you. So a unique one in which it's not a knock and it's not a drop. It's more of let's have a good discussion about it and use your intuition to guide you. Thank you for watching and remember knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay empowered. See you soon.